Hi, I'm Marcel Ulrich, Product Manager for Ultrasonic Sensors with Pepperell & Fuchs. I'm here today to talk to you about ultrasonic double sheet detection. In many instances, doubles have a positive connotation, like a youngster who gets a double scoop of ice cream at the local ice cream shop, or perhaps a batter who takes a bell-high fastball and rips it into right field for a double. On the other hand, sometimes doubles have a negative connotation, such as when a person rolling dice hits snake eyes at the gaming table, or a golfer perhaps uh, misses his putt and gets a double bogey. In sheet-fed printing and stamping processes, doubles are definitely viewed as a negative. If you've ever, in an office environment, had a paper jam and you open up a copy machine, for example, and look in the rollers and see two sheets of paper, it gives you an idea of what can happen to a print process uh, when a double feed occurs. Uh, you can get maybe a bigger idea if you expand that out and when somebody's making, instead of just a copy of a single sheet, a magazine or a newspaper or something like that, that those jam ups can be catastrophic. Pepperell & Fuchs ultrasonic double sheet detectors are designed to instantly identify double sheet occurrences before the problems get too far downstream, keeping downtime, subsequent maintenance and damage to an absolute minimum. Now let's talk a little bit about how an ultrasonic double sheet detector operates. Ultrasonic double sheet detector systems have a dedicated emitter and a dedicated receiver. The emitter constantly sends an ultrasonic signal to the receiver unit. Uh, the receiver unit listens and then bases its output upon the signal strength of the signal that it gets back from that emitter. If it receives what it knows to be a full signal strength level, full amplitude level, it knows there's no sheet present. And on the back of the sensor, there's a series of LEDs. You'll know that your output says there's no sheet present and your LED will tell you there's no sheet present. As a single sheet comes into play, uh, the single sheet will cut approximately 80% of the sound from the emitter to the receiver. And again, inside that receiver unit, there's a threshold and it knows if I lose 80% of my sound, time to fire my single sheet output. And again, there's a LED on the back that will let you know that you're experiencing a single sheet. Again, if you have a double sheet now, the double sheet will cut another 16% of that sound away. So you really have only 4% of the sound remaining. Uh, the receiver unit knows that you have 4% of the sound remaining, identifies the double sheet condition, your output fires, and the LED fires. And there is no way to detect sheets beyond uh, a double sheet. So if you have triple, quadruple, uh, it will all be signaled as a double sheet. Now that we know a little bit about how ultrasonic double sheet detectors work, uh, let's discuss a little bit about the machinery that they go in, the materials that they can monitor, and uh, why they might be a little bit better alternative than optical sensors in some situations. Uh, the double sheet detectors can detect uh, very thin papers, less than uh, 40 grams uh, weight. They can also detect uh, the medium-sized papers that you might be familiar with in your copier machines. They can detect double sheet situations for thick credit card type material. Uh, thin or thick cardboards, uh, not only for double sheets, but also what they call fluff out for cardboards, where the uh, outer material separates from the corrugation. And we also have a special model that detects uh, double sheets of metal blanks, so thin sheet metal. Um, the machinery that these products go in is very uh, wide and varied. There's collators, copiers, die cutters, uh, you'll find them in ATMs, uh, detecting currency, uh, voting scanners, and uh, as we mentioned a few seconds ago, metal stamping presses. All these different products uh, will use ultrasonic double sheet detectors. And uh, the big advantage of an ultrasonic double sheet detector over an optical type system is its immunity to environmental contaminants. So whereas you might have uh, in a printing operation, you're going to have a lot of dust in the area that will cover the lens and cloud things. Uh, ultrasonics don't care if there's dust in the area. Uh, they're very immune to dust. Uh, they're very immune to any kind of oils. And especially their immunity is, is excellent versus optical sensors when it comes to colors. So black, white, shiny, matte. Uh, with ultrasonic sensors, they detect pretty much the widest variety of materials for double sheet. Uh, instances that you're going to find. 
It's impossible for one single ultrasonic double sheet detector design to detect all materials from the thinnest papers to thick cardboard and uh, sheet metal. So for that reason, Pepperell and Fuchs offers three unique designs. The first design we have is what we call the mini UDC. The second is the 18 millimeter UDC. And then the largest one we have is the 30 millimeter UDC. The mini UDC is designed for applications like scanners, ATMs, printers, copiers, and things like that. It's our simplest design. It comes on a raw PC board uh, with no protective housing. And again, it's made for office environments, things like that. Stepping up is the 18 millimeter UDC. This version is a more robust type. It's got a bigger transducer so it can detect not only papers but it can detect thick plastics like credit cards. Uh, can also detect uh, double sheet instances for sheet, thin sheet metals. Um, and nice thing about this version, we offer three different types, uh, three different variations of sensitivity and beyond that we also have this right angle type. So if you have limited headspace, you can use the right angle style. It saves you some space. This version here is our 30 millimeter UDC and this is for the heaviest applications. It's got the biggest transducer and thus the loudest uh, sound pulse. So we use this for corrugated cardboards and a little heavier sheet metals. So regardless of the application you need from very thin papers to heavier sheet metals, uh, Pepperell and Fuchs has a solution for you.